Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, my little degenerates. It's your boy, Mrs. Degenerate here, back at it again for another video. Ooh-wee. Oh, my goodness. Assassin's Creed Shadow. I said it. I said it in my goddamn Xbox video. I was going to talk about it. Originally, I was going to do a Ubisoft Forward event and talk about it. But I got to be honest, that Ubisoft Forward event was fucking garbage. Garbage. Doo doo, dikey boo boo, ill, nasty, like slimy shit. It was that bad, and I was like, you know what? I'm not doing this to myself. Let me just <laughs> let me just talk about the only game that piqued my interest, which was Assassin's Creed Shadow. So, for this video, I'm gonna take the time to go over the extended gameplay. There was other gameplay and other medias got to talk about the game, but I'm just gonna go through and talk about uh, the game uh, in full depth. Uh, basically, this is gonna be the good, the bad, the ugly. Like, there's some things I like, some things I dislike, and some things that I'm just like, well, typical Ubisoft. Yep, I knew they couldn't do it. But before I begin, I wanna basically say, that, you know, I hold this game to a high standards because we already had a great Assassin's Creed game set in Fuel Japan that was fucking amazing, and that was Ghost of Tsushima. So for me, this game cannot just be okay. It has to be on the level of Ghost of Tsushima for me. Uh, so... As we go through this video, I want you to keep that in mind on why I'm critiquing this shit so hard. Because Ghost of Tsushima is fucking amazing. It's not perfect, but goddamn, it is easily one of my favorite games of all time. And, you know, I just want Assassin's Creed Shadows to at least live up to that. And so far from what I've seen, I gotta be honest, it's not looking like that. But I think it's still gonna be a fun game. So, without further ado... We're just going to go straight into it. Uh, and the first thing we're going to comment is this little monkey. I hope you can pet this monkey. Uh, later on in the video, we see that Yasuke actually pets a dog. So that's cool. I hope we can pet this monkey. Peace and war. Benevolence and cruelty. I tread my own path in this divided land. So the first positive I want to give is the look. Automatically, this game looks phenomenal. Uh, my computer, or what you're seeing on the monitor, is not doing it justice. But this game looks incredibly good um not as crazy as ghost of tsushima because ghost of tsushima you go to different lands and different out outposts and it's just like holy shit it's gorgeous but this looks really good and i can't wait to see other areas um they talked about in uh the ubisoft 4 and other interviews as well that the seasons will change like this game takes place uh or over the course of a year. So I am very curious to see how that's going to play out. Because they said that when it's raining, you know, it will affect like enemies not being able to hear your footsteps. Um, they said that when it's snowing, the ponds will freeze over. So I'm looking forward to seeing like, oh, what is Japan in, in the winter? So that's going to be kind of cool Fukuchiyama. Oh. at last the fields are busy a big harvest requires many hands another thing i want to talk about is the crowd density I think it looks very fantastic. Almost 
I want to say is almost on the level of Unity, but not really. Unity had so much going on, and that was like kind of like the biggest problem of Unity uh, because you know that game day one patch was really bad. So, uh, and it was because there was so much uh, NPCs on screen. Uh, this actually looks like the same thing. So, I am very proud to see that this just came back in a big way. Because, god damn it, I'm tired of, like, empty, open-world Assassin's Creed games. Like, bro, it, 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 it's kind of lame how, how they do their open world. So, it is what it is. But this looks really good. Um, another thing is, I love how tall Yasuke is. He is a fucking giant. He almost reminds me of Connor uh, in... Uh, in... Assassin's Creed 3, Connor was kind of, like, like, kind of big, and so it's cool to see a character like him, um, that's, like, massive compared to everybody else who's, like, little shrimps. One other thing I love is that, as you can see, like, characters, NPCs are, like, bowing to him. Well, because he's a samurai and samurais were like very like noble so i'm like that's cool as hell a little detail it also shows that yasuke is not going to be the character you want to play with if you want to do stealth because everyone's going to notice a fucking samurai walking around and you're like holy shit it's a samurai so i kind of like that idea i like that premise um and yeah just a lot of NPCs on this round. And of course, as I stated earlier, you can pet the fucking dogs. Listen, every game needs to have the option to pet the dog. Um, you look like a wolf, actually. Samurai, sir, this way, I beg you. Hurry, sir, please. Right behind you, little one. Hurry, but yet you fucking walking mad slow. <laughs> I brought someone. Hikimaru. I wonder where you went. Alright, so we're gonna get into my first or, or or one negative I have is the facial models for the NPCs. Alright, this is something that even Ghost of Tsushima had a problem with, but I'm fucking Assassin's Creed, at least the newer titles do this really dumb shit. Whereas it's like characters are just standing around in one way, and it's like, bro, it just looks boring. Like the camera's just going from left to right to right to left, right to left when characters are talking. Uh, the original Assassin's Creed games, when characters were speaking to one another, it would look very animated and very had life even when they, you were talking to an npc this shit just looks like really boring really stilted and again facial models for the npc looks really bad um or just doesn't look that great and i'm just tired of like this way of assassin's creed now uh going back to what i was saying about ghost of tsushima the ghost of machine ghost of some shit ah Ghost of Tsushima, I can't fucking speak, god damn it. Ghost of Tsushima had the same issue, but Ghost of Tsushima did something really clever, which is like, every time characters would talk, um, they would zoom the camera out and be like, hey, look at this beautiful land, look at this beautiful scenery, look at this, look at that. Don't pay attention to our, our kind of like mediocre um, NPC designs. Pay attention to the beautiful art design. So I kind of wish they would have taken a, a page from Ghost of Tsushima because that was actually clever uh, when they did that. Um, just boring. Look at this shit. It's like, um, one thing I want to say in terms of voice acting, I want to give Yasuke's voice actor tons of credit. He sounds really good. Very feels authentic. Um, and he sounds really good, but later in the video, you're going to hear me c complain about the voice acting. So the voice acting is completely, um, like inconsistent 
in this um, game so far. Um, so right now, Yasuke's on a mission to go and like um, meet the um, go assassinate this one dude uh, who's been terrorizing the people uh, or harassing the people in the district. Um, and as you can see, so it's like typical Assassin's Creed. Like you could, like you have to find information in order to find your target, and it'll say like he's in this area. He usually roams around this town. He you'll probably recognize him because he he's distracting or harassing people. Um, typical Assassin's Creed stuff. That's the one thing I will give the newer Assassin's Creed titles like Odyssey and uh, Valhalla, for what I've seen, is that. You know, you actually have to do a little bit of research in order to find your assassin uh, nation people. The originals, it was just kind of like, oh, do these one, two, like, little missions. Sit on a bench, hear people talking, and then you go off and find your main target. And here's a little different. So we're going to speed this up. Again, just love how much people are just bowing to this man. More division among the people here. And More this looks corruption. good. Skip. A little fast. Everyone's bowing. Such beauty. Shadow by suffering. What is happening here? And this isn't your This This part right here. Now this part right here. We're gonna meet our target. The main guy we have to uh, assassinate. I told you, keep walking. Now, I want to say something right here. You see how he just activated his uh, went into battle right here. I wish, since Yasuke is a samurai, they do like Ghost of Tsushima. This is a golden miss opportunity. What is happening here? This isn't your you know, right here where he stops him. Remember in Ghost of Tsushima when you used to have the, the quick draw um, the quick draw duels that were end in an instant kill? I wish that was in this game. So far, what they've shown is not in the game. Like, like I love that shit in Ghost of Tsushima where like enemies just be like standing there in a group and you could be like, hey, I challenge you. And then you get off your horse, you walk up slowly to them, and just when they're about to, to hit you, you pull out your sword and instantly kill them. It was so fucking sick in, in Ghost of Tsushima, and for it to not be in this game where, you know, in Assassin's Creed Mirage, you do get an ability um, that allows you to hit really fast. And the animus will kind of glitch out and you can like assassinate a mark and execute. It's sad that this game doesn't have it. So far for what we see, it doesn't have it. That's that's really missed opportunity. Uh, so that's kind of like a negative. Keep walking. Um, but then we're going to get into combat. The combat seems like your typical uh, Assassin's Creed RPG combat. Um... One positive I will give is that now there's destructible environments. That is something that was not in the previous Assassin's Creed games. Um, so now when you hit somebody onto something or hit a, a barrel or something, stuff will fall out of it. Like these grapes and these fruits that came out of the basket. That's cool. Uh, that leaves more like destructible environments, which is a nice touch. That's another positive. Um... But a negative I have is like enemies just standing around. This reminds me of the old school Assassin's Creed games. Like enemies would just stand there while the one of their friends is getting fucking demolished. Uh, that's something I actually appreciated about uh, Origins and Odyssey is that two, maybe sometimes three enemies will attack you at once. And that was dope. It made you stay on, the, on your toes and not just pick like, not just do counter attack, counter, attack, counter, attack, or wait for somebody to hit you and whatnot. So I don't know why they're going backwards. I Hopefully they fix that. Uh, I do know that enemies will now have 
um, will have guns. So maybe when the gun enemies are around, you'll they'll shoot you, and while you're in combat. So I don't know. Bonk. And they just really just stand there and watch their man just got slaughtered by that. That's the funny part. All right. Okay, so you see how the sword lights up and it does, um, the enemy's sword lighted up and he just went into a bunch of continuous, like, block slash counter. I gotta be honest with you, this shit look like ass. This is another, like, negative I have. It's like the sound design, at least for, like, weapons clashing, sounds really, really bland. And again, consider that to like Ghost of Tsushima, where when and when weapons hit each other, it sounds so fucking clean, so fucking good that it's like fuck me. It's like oh my goodness, it sounds so epic, especially when you clash with them, and then like back, and then you like get out of clashing with them. It's like it's sick as fuck, and. Again, they need to do a better job with the audio design because it's like really not that strong. Pink. But these animations are pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. Bunk. Um, this weapon that Yasuke is using, they said that this weapon is going to be very handy for breaking off um, people's armor. So you might want to always carry this on you. There's more weapons on a one trailer. They show like Yasuke using a, a pole. Oh, uh, so that's cool. So there's gonna be weapon variety, which is nice. Make your peace. That was Yasuke's special move. Um, just like in Odyssey, uh, every character has a special move um, in the game, which you can activate at a certain point when your meter is filled up. So, that's cool that they brought that back. And of course, Yasuke swinging that big old malice and bonk! Sending <laughs> the motherfuckers flying. And then he walked that shit out. Protector turned persecutor. Greed cannot rule this village. Not and then we run into our in my head. corrupt samurai. And then Yasuke does another special move. That was something we saw in the trailer, the CG trailer. But this is called like the quick, the quick, uh, I think it's the quick stab. The quick sheep. And I actually kind of like this part of the animation where he's like, that thing and it pulls you up and it flings you off. Like, I like that. That's kind of cool. And again, and going back to my complaints, like, just the sound design is just like, ooh. Um, they did say they would be different from what everyone's saying. There is different, like, just like Ghost of Tsushima, there are different, like, uh, stances that Yasuke's gonna have. So, that's gonna change up gameplay a little bit. So, yeah. And that clash looked very sloppy. They really need to tighten that up. There should have been like a, a hit animation. Instead of it just going strictly in, it's like it skipped something. It, what it should have been is like the, the, the hit registered animation into a clash like this. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima had something like that where if you hit an enemy... Then uh, it'll go into a little bit of a little animation to register that is now you entered a class situation. Who do you think you are? Uh, so Disney's cleaning up that that looked very sloppy. Uh, again, the blocking just looks whatever. And that's something I want to talk about. When you kill your um, main target, the screen goes into red and red and black. I mean, white and 
black, almost like a origami picture or something. I forgot what it's called. And uh, it, it splatters like painting and whatnot. It looks really cool. I actually like that idea. That premise is really dope. So it's only when you do your sat, you get your target. So it looks cool. And then we're gonna get introduced to our assassin, Nawe. Ooh. Yep. I was going to handle that. Too slow. What did you find? The samurai has been stealing from the villagers. He has been starving the people here for some time. So now we know who he worked for. A daimyo. Fukuchiyama Castle. We should go. Not before we send our allies to look for him. Now, I just gotta say, Nawe, her fucking voice is so bad. <laughs> if Yasuke's voice sounds really dope, her voice is horrible. It sounds like she's fucking bored out of her mind. <laughs> Whoever was, what all do do respect to the act. To the actress who's voicing this character she just sounds so bored and i'm not sugarcoating shit this shit sounds bad she needed to re-record it a few times we not we not gonna ada wong this shit and be like oh it's, it's decent it's, it's doable nah motherfuckers like this shit should sound way better i'm not saying she gotta sound like 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 cutesy ootsy anime girl or like everyone's like mad it's, she's gotta be like funny and charming nah fuck that phoebe fry wasn't charming but she was like confident in her work i don't give a fuck about that i care about character sounding good and she just sounds boring as fuck and throughout this whole her section that's gonna come up soon she just sounds bored as fuck so they need to change that so now we know who he worked for Moving on from this. We should go. Not before we send our allies to look for him. He'll be difficult to find. So, as they said, that they gotta use their scouts in order to find where their main us, the main dude that they're supposed to assassinate. Um, that's a new feature in this game is that you can use uh your recruited scouts, similar to like Brotherhood, to like help you out. But these guys will actually give you information and trade information with each other so you know where to go to handle your assassination contract. I think that's cool. That's a kind of like a evolution of the Brotherhood mechanic. I wonder if there's going to be other assassins that's going to like pop out and help you. Uh, but yeah, like this is a cool little little thing and I kind of like it. So kudos to that. Um. Daimyo. He's there. Who will take the lead? We can sneak in. Or charge through the front gate. And so this is the part where in the main story mission, or at least for this uh, assassin's uh, contract, you could choose either you want to go loud and heavy with Yasuke or go stealth approach with our female assassin right here so for the sake of this demo they chose to go with um the assassin which is fucking smart uh but i do like that they give you the option uh personally me i'm most likely gonna stick with home, um with homegirl throughout the whole game i do not want to after seeing that gameplay no but it's cool uh, that they give you the option. No one will see me coming. God, I gotta do that fucking voice. Uh. Don't worry, I won't be alone. It'll be me and the shadows. But then again, maybe her voice is like that because she just is learning English. But then again, the animus doesn't work like that. The animus, the animus translates things really well. So I, I don't know. So this is fighting a snake. Why wrestle the body when you can slice off the head? Her the assassin's uh part of the video. 
And I gotta say, d before we begin this, this is where I think this game is shining the most. Her gameplay is really good. Um, uh, this part of the game actually kind of feels like if anybody's ever played Tenchu or, uh, yeah, just basically Tenchu. And I was very impressed by this. So, first things first. She's using Eagle Vision to scope out the area. There's a grappling hook, and you can grapple up and do an air assassination. And you didn't have to, like, press any prompt or buttons. She just jumped, and the closest person she landed to automatically goes into assassination. That's a cool little change. Usually, you would have to press a prompt, but as long as you're next to the body, you do the assassination. Dope. Then she's going to go into prone. That's something that none of the Assassin's Creed games have done before, which is go into a uh, prone position and start crawling on the floor. I fucking always wanted this in an Assassin's Creed game. It never made sense that there'd be these tall ass br um, grass and the characters will just either stand on it or be crouched. No, like, should be going prone on it. So that to see that was fucking really dope. You're mine now, Snake. Another game this remind me of is Splinter Cell because you could take out light sources. And that was really dope when I saw that. I was like, oh my god, this is this is turning into like Splinter Cell meets uh fucking <laughs> meets Tenchu. So I was like, ooh, this is dope. I was like, alright, that's dope. And you can knock out all the light sources with your kunai. She runs up, hit and blade. Now she's going to use her main weapon to pull herself and go into assassination. They said that every weapon in this game will have a uh, unique assassination uh, animation, depending on which weapon you equip. So not only your hit and blaze, but all your weapons could do um, assassination. Uh, one positive I would say that I love is that uh, Nawe, she moves extremely quick, um, which <laughs> she gives Connor and everybody, other, every other assassin's character a run for, run for their money. I, I fucking love that. <laughs> she moves so quick. Um, later on, she's going to do... It's cool that shit. Run on the wall and then hook onto the shit. And she moving so quick. I love this shit. I was like, oh my god. She, she's fucking babe. <laughs> she's about to become babe in a minute. All right. Now always fucking dope, bro. <laughs> she's fucking babe. I love it. Um, but yeah, moving on. Assassinate this guy. And it goes into this cinematic cutscene. Um, my only issue with this is that I hope you can take it off, uh, or it only happens occasionally or rare moments, because if not, that's going to be really fucking irritating. Really fucking irritating. A grave, huh? Now you're about to see her do another quite sassy grab. And she grabbed and pulled that person to another area to knock them out. Um, it kind of reminded me of, ooh, uh, Syndicate. Syndicate, you could do something similar. This game is basically like Syndicate open, uh, Syndicate RPG. So this reminded me of that. And it makes sense that she would just knock the woman out because that woman is innocent and there's no need to kill. Uh, it's against the the Brotherhood code to do that. So knocking her out was good. You could turn off lights as stated before. But she's just vibing. Now you're about to see another assassin using her sword. Um...
Now this part had me fucking livid. I was like, fuck yes. Climb up and hide on the enemy. That remind me of that splinter cell like uh, wall, um, that split that you can do in splinter cell. I was like, fuck yeah, this is fucking dope. And then drop down and then continue. And that's the target. Now, going back to what I said earlier, in the game, when they, uh, when the seasons are different, enemies cannot hear footsteps. And they said for this mission in particular, uh, Nawe is gonna use the pawn. But when you try to do this mission in the winter, it's gonna be completely different because the pawn is gonna be frozen over, so you can't use the pawn, which is kind of cool. But for the sake of this video, it's raining, so it is what it is. Fujioka must have been the samurai Yasuke took out. Good riddance. Thank. A daimyo like that deserves a slower death than the one I'm about to give him. And she's about to do something fucking sick. Swim to the other side. Her her. Her oxygen is going down, as you can see right here. But she's about to do the sick shit. Pulls out a fucking uh the fucking bamboo stick to breathe underwater. I was like, that is so fucking awesome. Then she runs up and this is a ground assassination. Stabs the foot, stabs them, and that's it. I love this weapon that she has. It hits multiple enemies at once, so that's really dope. I've shed all the blood I need. Time to go. Get out of here. I just love it. Bada bing. Flips out, runs all away, flips into a new thing. Now, I do want to give also a huge props to this game. I did see new animations for like parkour, and I was very impressed. But of course, with every negative, I got to give a po uh, 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 with every positive, I got to give a negative. And the negative I have to say is that still the it doesn't seem like the the uh, parkour system is going to be on the level of Unity. Uh, I still think Unity's parkour system is the height of the franchise, and to not see it here again is kind of very irritating, especially since Mirage tried to go but try to go back to that to that way. But didn't fully commit. Well, couldn't fully commit because of the engine they were using and whatnot. So there's that. Um, what else? Uh, 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 one big ugly that kind of dropped the excitement down for this game uh, is that there will be no social stealth. So you can't really blend into the crowd, which to me is really uh, shooting yourself in the foot, especially after Mirage had it, brought it back, and it was really cool. Like, it, it's really irritating that they didn't use it and bring it back, especially in Fuel of Japan. You're playing as a fucking shinobi. So I don't get it. It makes sense for Yasuke not to be able to use social cells because he's a... He's a samurai, but my boy, but, but now I should be able to, to be able to use social stuff. Uh, they said that people, um, that the enemy, uh, AI and whatnot will not be able to rescue, uh, recognize you when you're playing as now but it, it still is not an excuse not to have it. There's a difference. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, and so this is just a sizzle reel showing off. 
combat. As I said, she's got a pull. He got a pull. To being allies, then. And that is Assassin's Creed Shadow. Uh, my overall thoughts. I honestly don't think this is looking bad. But again, considering the fact that we have Ghost of Tsushima, an Assassin's Creed game made by a different studio that nailed everything I wanted a samurai Assassin's Creed game. Seeing this game is very mixed bad. Because on the one hand, I think Yasuke's gameplay is kind of like watered down version of Ghost of Tsushima. But then when I see Nawe's gameplay, she's looking really tight and really good. Despite a few complaints, her gameplay section is looking really good. So overall, I am I am a little o overwhelmed by this. But at the same time, I'm kind of like, this isn't looking bad. I just wish it was on the level of of Ghost of Tsushima. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. But who knows. Um, with that being said. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what do you think of Assassin's Creed Shadow. Uh, and stay tuned. There will be more videos. It's your boy Mrs. Degenerate signing out. Have a good one.